Okay, so here we are in Maya. The first thing we're going to do is put down a, a copy of those branches we've just made so we can trace them with new shapes. So the way we'll do that is with a, a polygon plane. Here it is. And I'm just going to scale this up. Now, the scale that we're working at at the moment doesn't really matter. But by default, the units that you work with in Maya are centimeters. So if something is 10, it's 10 centimeters. So I'm going to be making a tree that's about 7 meters high. So I'm going to be choosing 700 for the height when we get there. So it won't matter yet because we can scale these leaves up. But that's the kind of scale we'll be working with, so we need to know that. Right, so here is our um, new plane. So I'm going to go to my channel box, and I'm just going to give this a name. I'm just going to call it Reference. And not that it really matters, but I don't want any subdivisions on it. So I'm just going to change both of those to one under Inputs. Uh, and I'm happy with that. Right, we need to get that image on there. So let's right click, assign new material, and uh, we'll put our Lambert on it. There it is, Lambert 2. And then for the colour, I'm going to choose a file and pine tree textures. We're going to use branches diffuse. And you can see, because we put the alpha channel on, um, the branches are nice and see-through. So they're going to look ace when we use them later. Okay, so let's click on open. Right, what you need to remember is that if your textures don't show up, it's because you haven't turned um, texturing on. So the way you do that is with this little um, icon here, and that will show them. Or if you're a keyboard shortcut user, as I am, you can just press 6 on your keyboard, and that will make them show up. So this is our reference for the branches that we're going to create. Now that that's set up, we can get on to making four different branches. Okay, so we're going to go for the first branch. I think I'm going to go for this bottom corner here. So what I'm going to do is create a new polygon plane. Again, this is going to need to be sized up. Let's move this just to be in roughly the right place. Okay, into my channel box, I'm going to name this branch one and I'm going to get rid of the subdivisions again because I want to put these in manually to make sure that I've got as few as possible. With this being a game ready tree we need to make sure that we're not throwing any polygons away. So that's what we need to do. Right, so what I'm going to do to make this easier on myself is go into the top view. Just zoom out a little bit, press 6 so I can see my materials. I'm going to turn the grid off as well because it's in my way. And I'm going to put in some subdivisions manually. Oh. Yeah, what I'm going to do before this becomes a pain is I'm going to put this onto a layer. So I've selected my background, um, layers, create layer from selected. I'm going to call this reference. So this is my reference layer. In fact, I'm going to call it L underscore reference. Because if you've already got something called reference in your scene, it won't let you call the layer reference. Anyways, we'll click on save and we're going to change that V to our, uh, not that V, this P. No, that's the, the, the third one. Oh, if only I knew what I was doing. So we're going to change that to an R, which means we can see it, but we can't select it. So that'll stop it becoming uh, being a pain. Right, let's get this sorted then. So I'm going to go into vertex mode. I'm going to move these vertices up to the top. I'm going to move these vertices down to the bottom. And I need to now make some decisions on where I need to put extra edges to trace the outline of this branch without using more than I need to. So we're going to use the mesh tools. In fact, let's use it from here. So this is the um, multi-cut tool. And the way to get an edge loop, so you can see it will just let you kind of cut through a shape, which is nice. But if you hold control, then it wants to put nice straight edge loops in, which is what we want. So the first thing we're going to do is put an edge loop straight down the middle, or as straight down the middle as we can get it, because we want to be able to do that with the, the branches to make them look like the draping. So each one of these branches will have a line down the middle. That's really important. And now I need to look at where I have to put in additional edge loops. So I'm just going to try and put one about here, where I think is about the kind of the furthest that the branch kicks out. 
and I'm going to try and get away with just using this many vertices to trace it. If I need to put some more in in a minute, that's what I'll do. Uh, but we'll do a little bit of um, vertex movement now to try and get the shape of this tree. So we're going to put that one there at the base. This one needs to kind of kick out here. And this one about there. So I'm just trying to be careful not to cut any of the the branches off. That one's going to go about there. That's the furthest it kicks out. I'm going to bring this one in as much as I can get away with, which is quite a lot. Uh, about there, I think. So you can see I've got as close as I can without cutting anything off or using too many vertices. Okay, this one here, we can see the point that this kicks out furthest is just here, so I'll drop that one there. We'll use this one here. I think we've already done this one. Yeah, that's as good as that one's getting, I think. And we'll just bring this one in as well to create a bit of a point. Okay, so we need to get these edges as close as we can because these are going to be the transparent areas. And the way that game engines work is that the more of these transparent layers you have on top of each other, the higher the shader complexity of a given level gets. And so if you have too many of these kind of that you're looking through, it slows it down. So we don't want to have too much overlapping, um, too much overlapping transparent space. So that's why we're tracing this out, because you, you could argue that we could have done this with one face or two if we just wanted to make it go like that, where we've used four. Uh, but this, this is the better way to do it. So um, there is our first branch, and I'm happy with that. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do this one here. What I'm going to do for this one, actually, is I'm going to duplicate this one because it's actually not a bad starting point. And we'll just scale it down a little bit. Modify center pivot. There we go. Right, so let's do this one next. Right, put it into vertex mode. Why is this one called branch one? Which one did I just move? Branch two, whatevs. Okay, so vertex mode. Let's try and get this shape so that we're happy with it. So that one's gonna go about there. I want this one pretty much at the base. That one's gonna go just about there. This one I think can come in a bit further. We oh, sure can. This one obviously needs to come down. And this one is going to go to about there. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, so there you can see we've now got two branches done. Right, at this stage, I'm not going to bore you with repeating the process another two times. I'll leave you to do that yourself and uh, we'll skip through me doing it. I, I might, I might do the, uh, the fast forwarding thing. I do like a bit of editing. Anyway, so we'll reconvene when we've got all these branches done and we'll move on to the next step.